The latest employment figures from the Labor Department suggest the job market is slowly healing. However, significant hiring has yet to occur. Employers shed 36,000 jobs last month, leaving the unemployment rate unchanged at 9.7 percent. Economists had estimated the snowstorms that hammered the East Coast could inflate job losses. But Labor Secretary Hilda Solis tells the Associated Press the impact of the storms is hard to quantify. There was an impact, but we can't gauge in terms of what that number is. And I'm, I'm actually pleased that you know, we, we're staying steady. Uh, we need to bring down that unemployment percentage, but we're staying steady. Despite the encouraging report, 14.9 million Americans are unemployed, nearly double the total when the recession began. And for many, finding positions has been increasingly difficult. I've tried to go to like Sports Illustrated and, you know, Fox and NBC and all these different places just to try and drop off my resume and I'll just stand for like five hours until someone talks to me. Demand is starting to pick up to keep pace with the economy, which grew at a 5.9 percent rate in the October through December quarter. And some employers are looking to temporary positions to make it through until normal hiring can resume. Companies cut so many people in the recession. They were forced to, to, to cut so many that they don't want to be in that situation again. So most of Deco and Agilon clients that I speak with are looking for a more flexible uh, resource solution going forward. And so that's led them to temporary and contract workers. The government is working to help businesses afford new hires. On Thursday, the House passed legislation giving companies that hire the jobless a temporary payroll tax break. One encouraging sign in the report, the number of long-term unemployed, those out of work for six months or more, fell for the first time since November 2008. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.